think quickly. Is it a true or false? Number one. Forest is a place where living things and non-living things live and grow. Two. A school is a place where organisms such as humans, plants, and animals live together. Three. A rotting log has living organisms inside. 4. The seas and ocean has a lot of living things and non-living things. And 5. A dump site also have living and non-living things interacting in it. your answers are true, it means that you are correct because all of the places mentioned are ecosystem. You're right. What? Ecosystem or a place where interaction between living and non-living things occurs. Now these plants or animals either live in a non-living thing or they use it as prey for eating or there is a mutual relationship and anything related to survival. Now for this lesson, we will study more about the interaction for survival among living and non-living things in estuaries. Do you know where estuaries are? Now come and join me as we explore science! <laughs> riding on a slide during your swimming time? Where do you start? And where are you heading? Right! We usually go first in a starting point and there are multiple twists and turns until you get to the mouth of the slide where you are about to reach the surface of the water and then poof! <laughs> it's swimming time! <laughs> Now, estuaries are something similar to this slide. The river origin or where the water is coming will flow in the river streams and finally to the sea. Or in short, this is the body of water near the coast where freshwater rivers and stream flows into the sea and mixes with salt water. Did you know that the region of interaction between this river and the sea or what we call the estuary forms an ecosystem. Now let's explore the ecosystem in the estuary by watching this. When you mix the fresh water of the river with the salt water of the sea, something wonderful happens. As if by magic, a life-supporting habitat is created for hundreds of species of fish, birds, and mammals. It's called an estuary. This protected body of water often partially enclosed by reefs, barrier islands, or fingers of land, is distinct from all other places on Earth. Estuaries are the most productive ecosystems on Earth, containing more life per square inch than the richest farmland or deepest forest. People and wildlife love estuaries for their many beautiful and diverse habitats, including sandy beaches, fresh and saltwater marshes, rocky shores, shellfish beds, mangrove forests, river deltas, seagrass meadows, and wooded swamps. These special places are the most popular on Earth, yet not many of their inhabitants or visitors even know what they're called. Many of us, in fact, boat, swim, surf, and fish in an estuary without even knowing it's an estuary. Estuaries lead the world in life support, critically serving as places to live, eat, and reproduce for tens of thousands of birds, fish, and mammals. They are ideal spots for migratory birds to drop in and enjoy some R&R, and act as five-star hotels for fish and mammals. Estuaries are known as the nurseries of the sea, as their sheltered waters are perfect for spawning. Thousands of marine animals depend on estuaries at some point in their life. They are truly the real magic kingdom. 
Estuaries also house unique plant communities. Salt marsh grasses and other estuarine plants help to prevent pollution, erosion, floods, and stabilize our shoreline. Wow, all that and beautiful too. Estuaries are also called bay, lagoons, and harbors. And the water along this region is called the brackish water because the salty water coming from the sea enters this region by tide but the fresh water is diluted by decomposition that is why the water here is completely salty nor fresh. Now estuary as I have mentioned is a home to a lot of animals such as the fishes, the shellfishes, lobster, the crabs, a wide variety of seabirds, the goose, the marine worms, and many different reptiles. The amazing diversity of animals in estuary and supported by the complex of food web in the place. Estuaries are also full of dead organisms such as the detritus which are decomposed plant matter that is why the soil here is mushy and it's nutrient rich that is why these estuaries are also called the nurseries of the ocean can you think why is it so yes this is because many fishes lay eggs in the estuaries and the the abandoned plants here protects the eggs, thus nurturing new lives. From the word nursery, it means taking good care of the younger generation. See? Estuaries are also important to our quality of life and our health for reasons other than our economy. They often serve as the heart of the community, a gathering place for community life, traditions, and celebrations. They are invaluable laboratories for scientists and students. They are the inspiration for artists and nature lovers. Estuaries are national treasures, vital places whose well-being affects our health and the vitality of our communities and economy. They are irreplaceable and must be managed carefully for the mutual benefit of all who enjoy and depend on them. Now the estuaries has a lot of significance or importance considering its wide variety or wide range of provisions of resources, benefits, and other services. First, they are breeding and nesting grounds of many organisms. Estuaries also have ecological significance such as by filtering and absorbing the waste coming from the river and sending this clean water into the sea. Now apart from this, estuaries are also tourist spots. Now fishing, boarding, and water sports are undertaken in many of these regions. Now with the growth of population, more and more pollutants are harming our estuaries. Land reclamation even threatens estuaries because many animals and plants are affected with the permanent loss of their habitats. Now, as the steward of God's creation, what will you do to help our estuaries and all the living and non-living organisms interacting in it? I would like to know your answers. So simply comment your answers below and then let's read them together. Before we end this video, let's have a short recap. So read and remember this. Estuaries are homes to thousands of plants and animals that love to live in water that is part fresh and part salty. They are also nursery areas for many important organisms. Moreover, they help maintain a healthy environment. They protect the quality of water by filtering waste materials out of water before it reaches the ocean. The plants in estuaries help prevent shoreline erosion. Estuaries also protect inland areas from flooding and storm surges. When a storm hits, they often absorb water from the storm before it can reach upland areas. 
Asteroids are important part of our lives. They are also important part of our coastal and ocean system. Asteroids provide rich feeding grounds for coastal fish and migratory birds. It is important that everyone helps to protect asteroids and conserve the valuable resources in estuary ecosystems. Now that's it guys. Thank you for sharing your precious time to hear something to help our ecosystem. And don't forget that you are also part of this ecosystem and your little actions can make a lot of difference. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe all the things that you have learned from this vlog. Bye-bye!